Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsbyHeather.com, where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this Q&A video, I'm going to address cropping inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out my free video series available on my website. This week's question comes from Jamie, and she writes, Hi Heather, I received the following requirements for submitting yearbook senior photos. Could you please help me achieve this? two and a quarter by three and a quarter or two and a half by three and a half headshot should measure approximately one and a quarter to one and a half inches from hairline to chin. So I decided to give Jamie a quick call before I did this for her because I wanted to ask her if hands were permitted in the photo <laughs> and she said no they're not. So we could not use this particular photo and that's pretty common among yearbook requirements so make sure that you take some photos without hands. So let's go ahead and try this photo and take it into the develop module by pressing D on your keyboard, R to access the crop tool. And did you also know that if you pressed O on your keyboard at this point, you could change the overlay of the crop tool and it has some pretty handy features. So that's just an FYI. What we're going to do is crop this to a different ratio. Now I happen to know that two and a half by three and a half is a five by seven ratio. But if you did not know that, what you can do is enter custom and place your dimensions right here. This is two and a half, that's the width, by three and a half for the height. We say okay, and that changed the crop tool a little bit. You can see that, but you'll notice how it changed to five by seven because that is the same ratio. And what you could do is go ahead and press enter or return to commit that change. But the thing is, if you were to export this now as it is, you would have that ratio, but not that exact size because there is a difference. So there's one more step in this process. Let's go ahead on our keyboard and press Command Shift E on the Mac. That's Control Shift E on the PC. And what we're going to do when we export this file, I'm not going to review everything in the export dialog box for this video. But what I want to point out is under the image sizing for resize to fit, what you want to do is change this to width and height and make sure that this is in inches and manually type in that you want this image to be two and a half inches wide by three and a half inches tall at 300 pixels per inch. And then when you export it, it will crop it to the appropriate ratio and the correct size. Now, the only thing that we cannot do, I'm going to go ahead and click cancel is we can't measure this hairline to chin issue. So it said that the headshot should measure approximately one and a quarter inch to one and a half inch from the hairline to the chin. So that's from right about here to the chin. It sounds like, I mean, these things sound like passport requirements. They're very, very specific. We cannot do that inside of Lightroom because we don't have access to the ruler tool. So you have to, if you're just using Lightroom, it's going to be uh, your best guess <laughs> at the face size, the face size being um, one and a quarter to one and a half inches. Now in a future video, I'm going to take one of these photos into Photoshop and show you how you can actually measure that. But I know that a lot of you don't have Photoshop. So this will work and hopefully you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.